Hey, hey guys, guys it's Jack, Jack and T again. again. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be showing you our denim collection. We're super excited to show you guys. We're obviously we're really into denim. If you guys follow us on Instagram, we're just really interested in everything behind the denim, the history of denim, everything like that. So we'll probably speak more about that yeah. as we go. But we've got our stack of denim stack next here. to us. Yeah, and then we're just gonna go through one by one, show you guys what we have, the brand, the fit, that type of thing. So yeah, if you guys are interested in what we have. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Is that what you're supposed to say? That's like if you no, that's like an ad. ad break. <laughs> <laughs> so how should we do this? You go first or I'll... No, ladies first. Uh, I've got too many anyway. Yeah. That means that you should go first. Oh yeah, okay, I'll go first. Okay, this is one of my first one I have on the piles. It's a uh, pronto denim and full count. So yeah, this is one of my favorite pair, but I don't wear them as much because maybe I got a bit too big for these now. What I like about it is that um, the weaving method of this pair is so different to the regular denim. It, they call it broken twill and then um, the the fading effect of it is quite unique from other pair of denim. The right hand twill, broken twill with, um, if you can see it, there's Sushiko Arcuate of full count. So when it faded, the line is continue, it's kind of like it's filled that gap. So when I first have it, it's just the Sushiko looking um stitching but then after the the fade you can see that it's continuous so first on my pile is these are actually um a pair of Guzman men's jeans he actually bought them for himself but i wore them more often than him so i'm putting them in my pile they're yeah, so there's like a carpenter style with the cinch back. I just think they're a cool pair to have because of the fit. The fit is different to all the rest of my jeans in my path. And then they're very comfortable. They're like a light, lightweight, lightweight denim oh, yeah. pair. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, I didn't buy them, but now they're mine. <laughs> next uh, for you. Next for me is my first pair of Japanese denim, denim that I have. I own, um, I got it from collection store. My friend Lee from collection store kind of like educate me about the denim. I think I wore these for about a year. My honeycomb was strong because back when I used to work in a sneaker store, um, I would run up and down stairs all the time for about a year. That's why it's so sharp. Like the contrast is quite high. Sorry, I didn't tell you the brand. It's Pure Blue Japan and the model is 011, I think. Yeah, I think 011. So yeah, this one would be my pride possession because um, it's my first pair of jeans. <laughs> Do you, would you wear it anymore? I can't wear them anymore because I think now this it was a size 29. Now I'm like a 30 or 31 now, but I think I would keep it maybe for my kids one day. So I yeah. I don't know if they want to wear your dirty denim. Hey, it's not dirty. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> next for me is full count lock zero one zero six yeah. jeans. They're also kind of a relaxed, pretty baggy fit, which I really like. It's something. Yeah. What size different. is it? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. I'm normally a twenty six, so they're a little bit big for me, but um, it kind of goes with the style. And yeah, I really like these as well because you know, it's She's just some. Something different, a different look for me. Normally I wear like high-waisted and this is not high-waisted. It sits like right at my hips. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're... I What's really the like the like? wash. The fit, I don't know what the fit is like. Maybe closer to 501s for men's. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's cool. for me. I don't really have as much like history behind my ones as he does. So I'm not going to talk as much. Yeah. Because like before I buy it, I don't really buy it because of the fit. I buy it because of 
like the why it's why different. It's different and yeah. what's special about it some people have like bigger thigh they can't fit into a certain cut mm -hmm. of denim so i never have that problem he's got most of the cuts he's got a lot of the brands that he likes so when he decides to buy something a new pair of jeans he's like why is this pair different to me yeah. to me that's why that's how he gauges like what pair he wants to buy next yeah um which i think is an interesting part because for me i just buy right, whatever the fit, yeah. the fit, what if it looks good on me yeah um but yeah we were like kind of different in that way he yeah. buys it because it's different it's something something special about yeah. it yeah yeah something different from other people that's why um i like it mm. and that's what got me into Japanese denim. My next one, uh, this is my the only pair of the wash denim that I have in my collection. It's it, his only pair of Levi's too. Yeah, my only pair. No, I used to have the 501 but I gave it away. This one, we got um, the story behind it too. We went to Hong Kong and then they were having a promotion where if you buy a spend a certain amount of money and they will do give away free um, Levi's denim umbrella and I wanted to get the umbrella. We didn't know about the promotion We just wanted we just saw the umbrella and we wanted to buy it and they said sorry You have to buy a pair of jeans like spend this amount to get the umbrella <laughs> And we haven't seen this umbrella before because it's like a promotional one and it's like the umbrella is like denim Fabric no, it's not denim Should fabric. Sure? Yeah, do you have it? Uh, maybe so yeah, this is it. The umbrella. This is the the case. Wait, Levi's. I saw it and I was like, oh, we gotta have this. And then look at the button. The um, what do you call it? The launch button. It's super cool. I would say. You can kind of see. It's just the the print is like a denim fabric print. Yeah, and the button on the top is like a one. The metal look like the the button from the actual denim. Okay. Um, let me back to the jeans. So this is one of they were saying, and this is um, the the Japanese collection. That's back made when made in uh, Japan. Made in Japan, yeah. It was the uh, the distressed version of um, what model is it? Five one one. I love it. I'll, well, Jackie wanted to wear these, but then the waist was way too big for her. So it's a thirty. <laughs> yeah, so she couldn't wear it. So but we really like the fabric. Um, the one that they've used to distress and patch yeah. over it's like very unique and because we were really into patchwork jeans we made a lot of patchwork jeans we know like the the process behind it so it was really cool to us and we haven't seen something yeah. like this where it's made in japan made with this nice fabric so yeah. we were like okay we'll get this because it's really cool plus we really get want the, the umbrella, umbrella. <laughs> Next pair for me is the Levi 701 jeans. These are my all-time favorite jeans. They are high-waisted and also the leg is kind of wider. What would you say the leg is? It's like a 501 but for women. High-waisted 501 type of fit. Yeah, so that's the the tag there. Well, what is it? It's like a raw the un the unsamphorized um this is yeah this was actually my third pair i've got my other ones here i'll show you guys this is these are the same pairs just this one has been washed a lot so this is <coughs> sorry <coughs> this one is was my first pair of Levi 701s and they i've washed them you so much head? and i've worn them so much and yeah, this, I'll hold this. It used that's this that was the so this is yeah this is the same pair same pair but she been put it how long I think two years or something I've worn that one for. yeah this one I haven't worn as much yeah. but you can see the tag From the tag the this tag one you got you can't see anything so this one is the third pair I have it's it came washed, Already washed. so it's kind of a, almost the same color now as the raw one that I mm. bought that I've worn and washed a lot but this washed pair has some cutouts on the knee which is kind of different which i like as well but yeah mm. if if um 
you want to know my favorite pair of jeans, the favorite fit, the most comfortable for me is definitely the 701s. Yeah. Or not or if or if I don't know what to gift Jackie, I just buy these. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the pair of Capital Century denim and I love it because um, I was looking for um, trying to experiment like uh, other type of denim and something new, something different but I haven't The look is uh, like very different to the usual denim that you see, denim jeans that you see Yeah But yeah, it, they have woven, how, what would you say that sashiko, it is? I would say But it's like a, it's a woven this, sashiko Yeah, right? it's woven into it but I think the word still sashiko so, Yeah um, So if yeah you can see, it's like yeah that one's a different pattern and the back is just a normal pattern see this one it's just very even it's so cool yeah and um well jackie loves this because um i'm a big fan of the cinch back and then she can kind of like tighten it and loosen it when she wants to wear it i feel like win-win for us again okay my next up is mr freedom denim chino this one is one of my favorite Chino of all time. Um, I really like this pair on here. It's like yeah. my favorite. I, got I think it for my, my favorite pair that you have. Yeah, I got it for my birthday. The most expensive pen. He says he gets everything for his birthday. I do. Even if it's like three months out, he'll still say it's for his birthday. <laughs> or, or three months before. It's three like months getting... either way, he'll still say, I got, I'm getting this for my birthday. Yeah, well, don't you deserve it? <laughs> Anyways, um, it's a lot of, it's like so much details in this um, pants. I can't even like describe, like I can have like an hour to myself and still not finish with the detailings. Um, you got the wabash lining inside. You got the cinch, cinch back buttons that has kind of like detailed detail buttons on it it's really cool and the pocket is very it's very nice finish and um the fabric is super cool um after after it age the hearing bone um cotton blend with linen and it's super nice when it age is it nice i think it would be very comfortable as well right it's, super it's not comfortable. that denim rough it's very it's it's heavy as in like the, the weight of the pants and this give a different look to like how Chino sit yeah sit on you so um yeah um it's super cool and there's so much details into this and well if I have well next birthday um well no this year birthday maybe you might get birthday's guess, coming up uh maybe someone might buy me something yeah. Nice for Mr. Freedom. I hope they do. Yeah, I hope they do too. Next for me is um, TCB jeans. It's called the Norma Jean. I'll show you the tag here. It is, um, I think they said that they based it off the 701, the Levi's 701 um, vintage style. And also it's like a cropped cropped style so and then so so on jackie would be like super cropped on her <laughs> yeah but i don't know if it's supposed to be cropped on or if it is on isn't supposed to be cropped but it's definitely cropped on me but i really like i just like to have the women's fits of the japanese brands i mean not a lot of the brands like for example all the brands that he's showing not i mean that he has not a lot of them come out with japanese i mean women's fits so it's cool when they come out with them and I'm interested in them because yeah. I think when they do come out with them they're like skinny jeans. I don't know why, but they're all like that. Yeah, maybe they like That in, might might be what's in in Japan. Yeah, maybe they well most women wear skinny, skinny jeans. Skinny yeah, jeans. So yeah. you can't really blame them. Are you gonna go? Yeah, yeah, I'm gone. Okay, this one is one of my Favorite brand Stevenson overall. The model is 310. The cinch back again. Pocket, front pocket, it's nice. Back pocket is great. It's kind of like American style meat Japanese and the in the lining, the pocket lining is super cool. 
I have a lot of Stevenson overall stuff as well. Okay, next thing is my pair of Visvam women's jeans. I really like this pair because it's it's super high waisted and it's got the cinch back. Not a lot of women's jeans have the cinch back. It's a very wide leg and it's very long, which is cool. You can roll it down and cuff it the way you want and it sits nicely with whatever shoes you're wearing, like Converse. I just really like this pair. It's really well made and you can just tell that it's going to last a long time. So I'll definitely keep it in my collection like yeah. for my whole life type of thing. Yeah. How many do you have left? One, two, three, four, five, five. Oh, I have four. That's good. Okay, uh, my next one up is a pair of Studio the Artisan. Uh, the model is Vietnam War, and the inside has got um, the tiger camo, which they use it in Vietnam War, I guess. I uh, like this in here. It says reconstruction of great old things. I like that saying. Yeah, that's. That's, that's what cool. we, that's what kind of like what we like. Yeah, I mean, the one of the reasons why we like denim so much is because, you know, it's that history. Back when they did the, you know, the first Levi's, all of the w w work where, where they were actually making the, um, the clothes to work. Mm. I just think it's so cool that like, you mm. know, all the details that they still put in the jeans these days, mm. you know, you can link it back to... What, like, well, the first yeah. pair that came out with this style, with the cinch back, with whatever um, features they have, like mm. that's the reason that we like it so much. And I think the reason the reason why we like not just denim but any style of clothing is like that history behind it and how it's you know every part means something. There's so like so much history that we don't know about that would be so cool yeah, to we, learn about yeah. it, and we only know like a small snippet of it. This is my first pair of Japanese denim that I got probably like five years ago or something. It is Japan Blue JBO213. And um, she got featured on um, Heru's, Heru's um, website as well. Yes. I put it up for her. I'm not really inter interested in fading jeans, but when I first got this pair, I was just trying to like you know to trying fade. to fade them faster than he did just for fun but i didn't it's not i didn't fade them at all but it was like a competition between jackie and i cool okay my next one is another pair of pillow japan uh this one is denim coated a black black coated i don't know what's um what color they use but it so used to be more shiny denim but then they coated with a black Dye. Cut, yeah, black dye. Yeah, can yeah. you see it? Um, yeah, it's quite cool. Um, I haven't uh, like continued the the wearing of this one as much because I got yet again a new pair of jeans. <laughs> and yeah, my my wallet, my phone, yeah, the usual. The next pair for me is um, Capital jeans. They are they have like an elastic waist and they're very loose like a baggy fit um i also got them they're too big it's a size two but i mean it's the look anyway so i'll go with it but i just really wanted this pair and this was the only size they had left but that's what it looks like and this it's like a house pair but then you can wear them out i guess yeah, yeah the shop the shop when you go to grocery shop yeah this that's they're so comfortable. I wore it at one stage, but yeah, it's not I love, my cup of tea. I love them. Yeah, because they're not... Are they women's or men's? They're men's. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw John Mayer wear it. Uh, I would say my top three, this one, is my free wheelers 601XX. Second most recent pairs that I've been working on or wearing. And it's, the fabric is very unique and I'll show you how it fits. It's super cool pair. The orange selvage and the patch on the back is two, two, um, what do you call it? Elephants. No, uh, it's the name. Bison, 
two bison going at each other and my favorite feature of this jeans is the button I think they put the cream it's copper and they put the cream animal, Can animal? I have a look? um onto it so it's probably one of the most special button that I ha I've I have yeah, yeah super cool. cool and yeah like I said free real is one of my favorite brand I have a lot of respect for um, free reelers because you know I love all the detailings and stuff like that and the special how like special their their clothes are yeah I love it it's pair for me is actually <laughs> jeans that we made so they're women's jeans from our Nawato collection I wasn't going to show these because it's like you know we we're showing like other brands and stuff but I <laughs> I one he had too many jeans and two I actually really love this pair. I wore them so much when they like when um we first made them just because they're so comfortable and so easy to wear. They're high waisted, um they've got two side um Cinch cinches, buckle. buckles and they're a little bit cropped now but I they they shrunk. Yeah, they shrunk. But yeah, I really just I really like these the color, the fit everything like yeah, that we we got the special um fabric from japan which has this the mustard selvage and i thought it was like one of the special color mm. you don't usually see that you were saying it's the best fit jeans that you have because i made it for you yeah i think like that that's the part is a lot of the stuff that we make is like something that i want that i haven't been able to find so i think that's the the, the best part about it is making things because you want to make it you want to wear it which is yeah you know and if other people want to wear it that's a plus for us yeah that's <laughs> true my next up is a pair of full count jeans as well so this is my second pair of full count the model is one two four six i love it it's so unique because it's got double double okay. pocket or well, four pockets in the front and the back has the pocket with the flap yeah. on it and the extra belt loop I mean extra thick belt loop I like them because well it's different again like it's special and you know full count is one of the like you know the coolest denim brand in Japan okay so last one for me is my actually my latest pickup which is the capital coverall overall I'm about to sneeze. I think they call the name of the pen. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> What's it called? Welders. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh my you. gosh. Jackie has a problem. <coughs> the welders. The welders capital. Welders overall, overall or pants or something. It's like my favorite item at the moment. The paneling and the, the panel the... here. They have the front panel that goes like here. If you can see that and the kind of straps look like that so it's kind of like an apron style yeah. top it's going all the way to the back it's all connected so and then the it loop around it the, actually ends the, up being the belt for um yeah. the same thing so and you tie at the front wait put this one up yeah so it's really adjustable you can decide where you want to wear it if you want to wear it high if you want to wear it low you loosen it a bit and then you can decide like what kind of look you want it's a cool piece it's a cool piece yeah Super yeah special my last pair and my last one is a pair of what i'm wearing now um mr freedom i bought it for my birthday last year Again, it's almost one year now. My favorite pair at the moment because I can wear with whatever. Like for example, you can wear with boots or sneakers or and whatever jacket you want. He was saying before that he doesn't wash his jeans and they smell really bad. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're making me look bad. Anyways, um, I've been washing this four or five times already but i haven't washed it recently um it is probably about one year old i never really faded a pair of coin mill fabric sweet this one come out really good um it is lighter than the japanese color it came very light like even 
when it first came untanned with four eyes it's still very light yeah. and the fabric is smoother less it's not as rough it is 15.5 ounce and the model is called 15.5 ounce organic cotton and I just wanted to try something new um the inside pocket is very cool um I think he named it saffron color checkered saffron fabric it's quite nice and yeah salvage fly super cool uh yeah one of my favorite very influential brand that I love to see like every time I see his piece I just know that I know that it's very complicated and it's very naval um kind of like inspired. In inspired and I love that so um thank you for listening and watching us again we hope you enjoyed our video don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and you want to see more videos from us let us know what you guys think in the comments below yeah stay tuned for more videos like this Oi. <laughs>